Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT. We're back with WWE Champions, and it's time to talk about it again. Let's talk about it. Um, the new update. Pretty awesome. I'm going to throw it out there. One of the greatest updates ever. The strap filter. Um, and I don't even, to me, like, I thought I needed that strap filter more than I did. I mean, I guess I just haven't really got into it too much. You want to know what's huge for me? You want to know what's huge for me? Let's take a quick look. This, to me, is my favorite part of this update. Clicking right here and getting the prize walls tab and being able to just look at the prize walls. I feel like this is going to save a lot of people from expiring. This just makes it so easy to look at. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite thing right now. And I've seen some people talking about this is the best update since... Well, listen, let's not forget about one-click dailies. All right? We used to have to play... Dean's Daily, which turned into Dead Man's Daily, and Raw, SmackDown, whatever the daily tour was every day. We did that for years. Now we do it with one click, all right? So let's not get ahead of ourselves. We used to have to do that, and we didn't even have auto clear tickets at one time, all right? So let's not get quite ahead of ourselves there. But this update is absolutely fantastic. Zombie Month as a whole, it's been absolutely awesome for me. I don't know what your experience is, but I've gained a lot of new superstars again this month. It seems kind of like the trend now. We're getting four or five, you know, five or six new superstars a month in the game, I'm saying. And I feel like I'm checking off, like, at least three to four, you know, new superstars per month to my roster. Not always the new ones from the thing, but, like, I'm getting a lot of superstars on my roster. This month so far... Uh, we can go, we can jump back in here. So, who was the, uh, the free person? We had Zombie Chelsea Green, alright? Um, and then we had, what, uh, Zombie Brett, who I've acquired, alright? And Zombie Bailey, I have not acquired yet. Zombie LA Knight, I've not acquired. I'm gonna get Bailey, I'm very, very close. Um, and obviously I didn't get punk yet, but I did, uh, I added in the Bianca, the one that looks like Tina Turner, Bianca. I don't remember what she's called. Uh, I got her, I got zombie Sean this month. So again, I've already got four new people this month right there. I think there was another one that I can't think of right now, but that's at least four. And I'm like right on the edge of zombie steamboat. So Everything this month to me has has pretty much been a win. Um, Flash Feud, man, let me tell you about Flash Feud, all right? Come here. Get real close here when we talk about Flash Feud. I'm going to tell you, Flash Feud is the best game mode, all right? I used, to, I used to say Tours is my favorite. And Tours might still be my favorite game mode. But I'm going to tell you, Flash Feud's really grown on me. I used to not like it. I used to not like it. I used to think, let me get my feud over in one night, not my whole weekend. The way the scoring is set up right now, Flash Feud feels god tier to me. Like, the way there's only a couple of bonus people, like four bonus people for that Flash Feud that you need to get through, makes it seem easy to get through the bonus people. When you've got to use like 12 to 15 bonus people in one long feud... It seems so tedious to me. And you can take that same amount of people and you split it up into four brackets and it seems super obtainable to me at that point. So I don't know if that's just mental, but so I feel like in Flash Feuds, like by the time you get done doing your bonus wins with your people, you've probably put up enough points. I barely did anything past, I mean, each feud, this past Flash Feuds, I put up, um... In the, in the solo feud contest, I put up over 200. I hit the 200 million milestone. And I got great skill plates in my rewards this past one, too. I got a Jade plate. I got an All Heart plate. I got a Gremlin Ears. I, I got a ton of stuff. Not the, the, the Jade Cargill plate. So, I got a lot of good stuff there. And all I really did in each feud. The first night, I think I did um, four, four feuds. That's the longest one, though. And then I did three apiece in the other three. So four, seven, ten, thirteen. I did thirteen lanes on the course of the weekend. For whatever reason, doing thirteen lanes in a, in a one-night feud seems long to me, right? 
but it just seems like no problem over the course of the weekend. I wish it was flash feuds every time. I don't like the long feud. Let's get rid of it. Let's go back and do that one where we did it at 12 hours one night, 12 hours the next night. I'll do that again, all right? I will do that again. But, man, what else? Let's, let's talk about this update a little more here. What else have we do this update? The strap filter? Like, have you all been enjoying the strap filter a lot? Let's just look at it a little in here. So, titles, let's see. We can go to, we can sort them by recent, by superstar, by boost percent. Let's go by boost percent. Then what? Oh, it mixes in the categories by the boost percent. So, and then what? Oh, see, here we go. This is what we want to play with right here. I forgot about that part of it. So, yeah, we can really break it down uh and just put it on there boom and then get the results and it'll start with the highest boost and work its way down so easy there this is probably the worst because this is my content creator account that we're we're trying this out on right now but uh man i i can't wait to get down on my roster i'm gonna do a hard sort and i'll probably make a little video showing you how i decided to sort all of my stuff down but man this is gonna save a lot of time right here it's going to save a lot of time. So let me pose this question to you to leave in the comment section below as we go on here. I want to know from you, what is the one feature that you want to see added in in the next major update? What would make your life easier in the game? Leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know how you're feeling about Zombie Month overall as a whole. Have you been enjoying the game this month? What's wrong with the game right now? What's right with the game? Don't come in here with all this. I mean, you know what? It's you. You do what you want to do. You want to be negative? Be a little negative in the comments. I can take it. But I'm telling you, I feel like Scopely's cooking right now. I feel like they're still cooking. And um, I'm excited to get into November and December. Don't let me down in November. And I also want to know in the comments section, what's your predictions for the next MLC? Leave it down in the comment section below. What do you want to talk about next? And I'll see you in the next one.